Hello everyone, and um, welcome to People of the Past. Today we're back here, out here at Elmwood Cemetery in Birmingham, Alabama. Um, today we're going to try to find the grave of Mary Anderson. Um, she was a lady that um, invented the windshield wiper for the cars that we use today. Um, so it's kind of noisy, so um, let's get right to it. Okay, like I said, we're today we're out here looking for Mary Anderson's grave. She was the lady who invented the windshield wipers. Um, and she's from Alabama. Miss Anderson was born in February of 1886. And she passed away in June of 1953. She was, she had a, another sister and they were born, she was born at, on Green, I believe it's called Green County, Alabama. And, and her father passed away when she was about four years old. So her mother and her sister and her moved to Birmingham, Alabama. There she grew up. She became a a real estate developer she developed some um, some apartments this is pretty unique uh, anyway like I said she invented some um, she it was an inventor she invented um, the windshield wiper she also was um, an entrepreneur she a cattle ranch. She moved to California and became a, I guess she had a vineyard while she was there. So she returned to Alabama in 1898 to um, help with her aunt who was getting old and, and was feeling pretty bad. So the, what the story goes, the way she invented the windshield wiper was she went to New York and while she was in New York, while she was in New York, she um, was on a trolley car on a frosty day with, I guess it was sleet and hail and things like that. Well, she... While she was there, she noticed that the driver of the trolley cart had to lean out the window and wipe the sleet off with a rag or and things like that. So she came up with, she had a very good idea about, hey, we need to find some way to clean the windshield wiper inside to keep the car, so the engineer and all that of the trolley car could continue on, on about his travels, his pickups and drop-offs. And so she came up with an idea that we pretty much still use today, and that is the windshield wiper. And it was about to be, hold on for one moment, there's some people over here having this, um, bearing a loved one, so I don't want to be disrespectful anything like that she envisioned a windshield wiper blade that the trolley could operate from the inside so when she returned to Alabama she hired a designer for a hand operated device to keep the windshield clear and had a local company produce the working model she applied for the patent and was able to get the patent about two years later. Her device consists of a lever inside the vehicle that could be used 
with a spring-loaded arm to move back and forth and a counterweight to keep sure that the wiper was stayed attached to the window. Now, this is, this is back also now, this is, was in 1903. So in 1903, she contacted a manufacturer and asked him if they would be interested in producing it. Because now you got to remember, Henry Ford did not come out with the Model A's yet. So really there was no, we don't have, they would, every time she would bring it up to someone, they would say, we have no use for it. Um, they said well, they don't consider it such a commercial value as we would warrant our undertaking and sale and says that it would just be a distraction for the for the driver with the windshield wipers going back and forth. The difference is though that she said she could take it, you could remove it. You can remove the windshield wiper off daily or when you needed it and put it on when you needed it. And they were like, that's just too much. Okay, she should be around here somewhere. Um, okay, so here. Okay, here's Anderson, Thornton, and Nelson. So she should be here. Let's see. Yep. There she is, right there. Mary Anderson, February 19th, 1866 to June 27th, 1953. So that's who invented the windshield wiper. A lady invented the windshield wiper. A man invented the car. And that, my friend, is how you have what we call transportation nowadays. This is a huge cemetery. It's um, probably one of the biggest ones I've been to. But, um, yeah, there you have it. So, with that being said, this is a short video. Um, thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, leave a comment. This is the second video I have. I have plenty more ideas coming, plenty more um, that I'm going to go see. But um, I just want to thank you for tuning in and look forward to seeing you next time.